It's never been easier to engage your customers. With Pixelpop by Pixel Union, the same team behind the world's most popular and successful e-commerce themes now lets you grow your mailing list and drive conversions with great looking pop-ups and banners. In this video, we'll show you how to create three kinds of pop-ups, an email sign-up, a free shipping bar, and a full screen coupon offer with exit intent. Pixelpop can do a whole lot more than that in terms of pop-up types and performance options. The best way to get the hang of it is simply to install it in your store and start playing around. To create a new pop-up, click the Create Pop-up button on your dashboard. You'll see a new screen with the various pop-up types available. We're starting with an email sign-up pop-up, so go ahead and click Email Sign-up. This is Pixelpop's pop-up editor. You'll see it has a live preview which shows you how your pop-up will look in your store. There's also an option at the bottom to show you how it looks on tablets and mobile devices. Start by choosing a pop-up theme that complements the look of your store. You can customize its appearance, so don't worry too much about finding the perfect match. Next, choose your pop-up shape. There's lots of options to choose from here. For this demo, we're going to use a modal. Once you've picked your shape, select a size and choose a font. Pixelpop's color picker is easy to use and features hex code support, so you can make sure it accurately reflects your brand's color scheme. There's also an option to upload an image, toggle the close button on or off, make sure your pop-up is Google friendly on mobile, and even add your own custom CSS. Once you're happy with your style options, customize the content of your pop-up. Remember, it's always a good rule to keep your copy clear and concise. That goes for pop-ups as well. Next, you'll select from a number of options. For email signups, one of Pixelpop's best features is the ability to connect to third-party email service providers like MailChimp or Convergio. Click Connect and then follow the steps to sync your pop-up to your mailing service. Once you're connected, choose a mailing list from the drop-down menu. After your pop-up is published, that's where your new email signups will appear. Other options include scheduling your pop-up by giving it a start and end date, customizing the timing of your pop-up with various delays, which we'll talk about later in this video, and using targeting to show your pop-up to customers in specific countries, customers visiting specific pages in your store, or customers arriving from specified locations like email campaigns and advertisements. Once you've selected your options, give your pop-up a name. Then hit Save to return to the dashboard and publish your pop-up at a later date, or hit Publish to publish it right away. You can always edit your pop-up after it's gone live. After you've published a pop-up, you can track its success, preview it, and make changes from your Pixelpop dashboard. Or you can create another pop-up, which is what we're going to do now. For the free shipping bar, you can use an announcement or a page promotion pop-up. The difference between the two is that page promotion pop-ups include a link. For this demo, we're going to create an announcement pop-up. Once again, you'll start by picking a theme. For shape, choose either a top or bottom bar. Then select a size, pick a font, and add your store's colors. When you're happy with the way your shipping bar looks, move on to content. There's not a whole lot you need to do here. Once again, keep it clear, concise, and interesting to your customers. Finally, add any options you want. Most businesses that offer free shipping only do so in select countries. You can create a visitor target and choose which countries will see your free shipping bar. For this pop-up, we're targeting customers in the US and Canada. When you're happy with your free shipping bar, give it a name and hit Save or Publish. The last pop-up we're creating today is a coupon code pop-up. Start by choosing a theme, and then under Shape, select Takeover. Now you definitely don't want to overuse this full screen pop-up type, as it can alienate your visitors, but it is a great way of grabbing their attention with a special offer. Next, style your pop-up to complement your store theme, and customize the content of your offer. We've been over this stuff already, so we won't spend too much time on it now. For this pop-up type, you'll also need to create a coupon code in the back end of your store, which customers can use to get a discount at checkout. 
Under Options, we're going to enable another one of Pixelpop's best features, Exit Intent Delays. Pixelpop has a number of other delays, page delays, which delays showing a pop-up until a certain number of pages have been visited, time delays, which delay showing a pop-up until a certain number of seconds have passed, and scroll delays, which delay until a certain percentage of the screen has been scrolled. Exit intent delays are great because they wait until the customer moves their cursor to leave the page before appearing. In other words, your customer gets the maximum amount of time to look around and get acquainted with your store before you incentivize them to make a purchase, in this case using a coupon code. Give your pop-up a name and hit Publish. Click Preview from the dashboard and you can see how the exit intent delay works. As we said earlier, there's plenty more you can do with Pixelpop, from the types of pop-ups you create, to how your pop-ups look and perform, to who sees them where and at what time. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your store.